number of concurrent forces and equilibrium. A number of concurrent forces means the forces which are acting at a common point simultaneously. A number of concurrent forces will be in equilibrium. Will be in equilibrium. Will be in equilibrium. That means uh, the body on which uh, this number of uh, a number of concurrent forces are applied will be at rest or will be moving with uniform velocity if they are represented if they are represented by the sides of a closed polygon they are represented by the sides of a closed poly polygon of a closed polygon taken in the same order they are represented by the sides of a closed polygon polygon taken in the same order taken in the same order number 2 resultant the resultant of those concurrent forces the resultant of those concurrent forces is zero is zero vector resultant vector of those concurrent forces is zero vector the algebra the algebraic sum of the algebraic sum of all the concurrent forces, uh, all the horizontal components of uh, the concurrent forces, the algebraic sum of all the horizontal components, horizontal components. is zero also the algebraic sum of all the vertical components the algebraic sum of algebraic sum of the vertical components Vertical components, those concurrent forces of those concurrent forces will be zero. Now if we represent y axis, we can draw the diagram in which two concurrent forces are acting. This is y axis and this one is x axis, horizontal axis is x axis. Now two concurrent forces are acting, two concurrent forces are acting at the common point O. And these two concurrent forces are vector F1 and vector F2. Vector F1 and vector F2 are the two concurrent force vectors. 
which are acting at the common point O. Now, if we resolve the force vector F1 into two rectangular components, we get vector F1x and vector F1y. This is vector F1x and uh, the component along y axis or vertical component of the first force vector f1 is vector f1 y this is x axis and uh, the vertical axis is y axis similarly the second force that is vector f2 can be resolved into two rectangular components the horizontal component of the force vector f2 is vector f2 x Vector F2x is the horizontal component of the second force vector F2 and vector F2y is a vertical component of the second force vector F2. Now at equilibrium, let vector F1x and vector F1y, vector F1x and vector F2x be the horizontal component vectors, be the uh, rectangular horizontal component vectors of the forces vector F1 and vector F2. Vector F1x and vector F2x be the horizontal rectangular component rectangular components of the forces vector F1 and vector F2 of the concurrent forces. Concurrent forces vector F1 and vector F2. Also vector F1y and F2y vector F1y and vector F2y are the vertical components are the vertical components of those concurrent forces in vertical direction vector F1y and vector F2y are the vertical components of those forces. Those forces. Hence, at equilibrium, hence, at equilibrium, Summation fx equals 0. That is summation fx equals 0. That is sum of rectangular components of all the forces along x axis is 0. Therefore, vector f1x plus vector f2x equals 0 vector vector f1x plus vector f2x equals 0 vector. Similarly, also vector f uh, summation fy equals 0. Summation, summation fy equals 0 semicolon summation fy equals 0 that is sum of vertical components of uh, those concurrent forces will be zero and if we consider the vector component then vector f1y plus vector f2y will be zero vector that means sum of vertical components of all the concurrent forces will be zero will be zero